Hey there everybody, this is Ira and I'm back with another new indie game. This one is called Noita. Now folks, usually the games that I play on this channel here, the indie games that I highlight, usually they're really unknown, fairly obscure games that most people haven't heard of. This one uh, was released into Early Access last week and it is very popular. A lot of people are playing this game, a lot of people were looking forward to this game for a long time, it was kind of hyped up for a while. Um, and the reason I'm covering it is because I actually think that maybe the people who watch my channel, even though this is quite a popular game overall, I think a lot of the folks who watch my channel may not have heard of this one because it's a little bit outside of the stuff that I would normally cover. Um, and it's, it's more kind of combat focused and platforming and fighting, and I'm not going to be good at it at all. <laughs> I'm not going to be good at it at all. Uh, I have tried it out. I did one run on it and... Um, I did okay, I didn't do great, but this game is special because it is, uh, every pixel is simulated, is what they say. So there's physics for the, for every pixel in this game. You can break anything, you can destroy anything, and you can have stuff interact with each other. For example, you can, you know, burn water to create steam, uh, you can set wood things on fire and have them burn. It is actually really impressive, and you can also create spells, though I haven't really figured out how that works. Before we go in... Uh, I am playing mouse and keyboard. I've heard that you can play on gamepad, but I'm not sure how supported that is yet. So I'm just using the mouse and keyboard. I do want to go into the options and show you they have done a pretty good job here. There's a lot of options available. We've got our resolution. We've got, uh, this is all, all, uh, graphics stuff. We can change the brightness, the contrast, the gamma. Uh, music and sound volume, separate, always good. And we can configure the controls if we want to. There's gamepad things. We can change the intensity of the screen shake. I'm going to bring that down to about 50%. I'm not going to turn it completely off because I wasn't bothered by it when I tried it before, but some of you folks might be sensitive to that. You can turn these things on. Uh, replay recorder. <laughs> uh, this is a was a hidden feature at some point, and um, I wanted to try it out. I think this is when you die, you can save a GIF of your death, and I wanted to give that a shot. So... Uh, if this works properly, I'll, I'll share my, my death gifts for all you folks. Um, change the language, reset progress. In any case, quite good. Quite good stuff, I would say. I don't see anything missing from there that I would need. But then again, I don't know uh, what I would actually need. So, you're a wizard, basically. Or a witch, or something like that. I think Noita, I think this is a Finnish-made game, and Noita means witch. And we've got liquid on the floor here. Is this just water? Uh, it's just water. Uh, so if you walk in water, you get wet. And the wetter you are, the less likely you are to be set on fire. So I'm 21% wet right now. You can kick stuff. The F key. I key to open your inventory. Now this is a bit of a pain because you got to reach over with your other hand or something. And I know there's supposed to be a way that you can put your spells. You can customize your spells somehow. But I don't really understand how that works. So I'm not gonna work. I'm not gonna worry about that. You can shoot stuff down. Um, oop. <laughs> there's some fire. Uh, I've been having fun with that, just like shooting shooting lanterns down and setting stuff on fire. So this starting area I think is the same every time. Then you get in here and you're in the mines. So you can you can hover a bit by the way, but you've got fuel. So there's my fuel bar there. When it runs out, you fall down. There's my health, and this is the uh, ammo. So this one recharges, but this one only has three charges, and it will I think it will uh, throw a bomb. Let's see what we got in here. I'm kind of enjoying just playing around in this introductory area. But we can, for example, hit this and this will explode. No? Oh, there we go. And then this is coal. You can see that there's a little mouse over text. This is coal, so that's being set on fire. Wood is being set on fire. Damp rock is less likely to be set on fire. Am I still wet? I'm still pretty wet. So I could go through here. And this is the steam created by the fire here. Ah, uh, uh, there's a monster. Uh, and this is the part that I'm not good at. Oh, and now this is blood. Now I've got blood on me. And being bloody increases your chance of critical hits, which is pretty cool. So there's a reason to bathe in the blood of your enemies. Alright, nothing over here. I do see these red eyes down here. Now, I'm gonna tell you folks, this game gets hard real fast. The first time I tried playing it, I did make it to the end of the first level. But then I died almost immediately in the second level. Because uh, I think you really have to master... Ah! There we go. You really have to master- oh, there goes my money. What's this? We got... Polymorphine potion. So I can throw this at enemies. Oh! Who's this guy? Oh! Something blew up. Okay. 
Um, I can throw that at enemies and I think it turns them into sheep. <laughs> ah! No, 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 no! Oh, no. No poison, please. No po Oh, there's this poisonous slime stuff everywhere now. This is already getting a little bit dangerous. I'm gonna throw this down here. See if we can get this place taken cleared out a little bit. Oh, this is on fire now. Oh, no. Everything's on fire. I should not be allowed. Get some more blood on me. I should not be allowed to play games like this. I am not good at it. Oh, no. He's on fire. I think if you if you kill enemies with the environment like this, supposedly, um, you get more gold from them. You can use the gold to buy upgrades later. I am not wet. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, this is poison. This is bad. Okay. I'm gonna kick this. Don't think it'll explode if I just kick it. Kick all this- Oh no! I was wrong! I was wrong! It exploded! Okay, water. Water. I'm good. I'm good. I'm soaking wet. Something just blew up. Goodness gracious. Uh, let's just set this place on fire. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. Um, hmm. I need to find more wands. I think I missed a whole big area up here. Where I probably could have found some wands. Let's maybe head back up here a little ways. Let's get some let's get some blood on me. I don't know if I would call this a family friendly game, folks. But I mean it's pixel art, so it's not uh, graphic violence in any case. Which I appreciate. If it was graphically like violent and gory, then I would probably not be into it. Um let's do that. And let's just see what happens here. Just opened up a whole big area there. Get these guys- Whoa! He just threw a bomb at me! That was rude. Appreciate that. Jeez. Ooh. Yeah. Extra max health. Nice. I haven't seen any, uh, wands, though. Oh, I seem to be stuck here. There we go. Wands, I think, kind of glimmer in the distance so you can tell where they're gonna be. There's something up there. Is that a wand or is that a potion? I'm not sure. I would have to use one of my last bomb to get in there though, so I'm just gonna leave it. Prefer to save a bomb for the end. Yikes! That was dynamite. Now I'm not sure if you take fall damage. Actually, oh, there's fire underneath the water here. Look at that, look at that burning underneath me. Bananas. All right, let's see. Just keep on going, I guess. I'm not sure how much of this game I'm actually gonna play, because uh, I am real, real not good at this type of thing, and I'm probably not gonna make it too far. And I really just want to show you folks just kind of the the way the physics and stuff works, and um, the developers have talked about emergent gameplay, and how every time you play this game, it's gonna go differently, depending on, you know, what happens and stuff. These, these, these levels are mostly randomly generated. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this folk right here. Can I set this on fire? Yes. That's not gonna help me? <laughs> Maybe not. There we go. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to set this area down here on fire. See if I can just get these guys to, to burn to death. All in, their, all in their lonesome. There we go. See? Just be on fire for a while, friend. Yes. See? We're, we're playing efficiently. The fire is coming towards me. Get in the water over here. Are there any wands over here? I've only got this one wand. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, this is all slimy now. Well, ah, nope. I am very bad at dodging. Okay, well, that guy died. No, I don't think I want to go over there. It's all... It's all gross and bad. All right. I'm, uh, I'm quite wet now. So I can safely go in here and get this stuff. It dried me off a bit. What else we got? Got an explosive right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> Just backed right into the explosive like a fool. Hey, listen, friend. You don't wanna- you don't wanna throw dynamite over here. There we go. It'll go very badly for all of us if you throw dynamite over here. Here we go. Something's exploding. I think the strategy with these guys is when they throw the dynamite at you, move towards them, not away from them. 
Move away from them. You're moving towards the dynamite they just threw, like, like a like a fool. I am not having any luck. I have not found any new wands. All the wands are procedurally generated, and they're all different. It's all it's all very interesting stuff, but that is useless to me if I can't find one to show you folks. Something up here, maybe? There is kind of an overworld area, and I tried to go up there once, and, uh... I got killed by some snake things. Oh, here we go. It was just a potion. What kind of potion is this? Berserkium flask. Interesting. Interesting. I guess I'll head back down. I've been exploring pretty thoroughly here. I'm still not sure if I take fall damage. I would I would expect that I would take fall damage in a game like this, so. Be careful about how far down I fall. How are we doing? Ooh, ooh, ooh! I did not mean to fall there. These are like the, the easiest enemies, I think. Those little jumping dudes. Uh oh, I'm stuck. There's somebody in there. Can I kick this? Not very well. Whoever was throwing stuff at me is dead now, I guess. <gasps> oh no! This guy's got the wand! There we go. The enemies can pick up the wands, I guess. Alright, we got a new wand. So, the wand system is real complicated and I have not at all figured out how it works. Um, there's delay, recharge time, capacity, I think this is like the number of, uh, yeah. Oh, number of spells, okay. Spread, so here, here's the spell that it has, it's magic arrow. And again, very, very detailed. And I think in order to do well at this game, you eventually have to figure out what all this stuff means and pay attention to it. So projectile drains 20 mana, does 10 damage. How much does this one do? This one does 3 damage. This one's much better. Spread, so I think there's an accuracy rating there. Cast delay, crit chance. It's all very complicated. Okay, so this one's like infinite. It does not have charges where the other one did. Feel a little unsafe around all these explosive boxes. What we got up here? What do we got up here? Nothing. We ain't got nothing up here, I don't believe. Oh. Nice. There we go. Oh, this leads back up to the surface. Should I go check out the surface, friends? No, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna see if I can get to the bottom of this level and just show you what happens at the end of a level. As long as I can get that far, I will consider this video a success, I think. Uh, this is the edge. The edge of the map, I think. Dense rock. So you can't- I don't think you can break that. Let's go back this way, maybe. Take a little bloodbath. Just a little bloodbath. And... So we got down this way, more blood. A lot of the times I think you, you come through and stuff has already been destroyed just by other stuff happening in the environment. There, there's a good bloodbath. Another flask. Let's let's try one of these flasks out. Let's see if I can uh So this is dangerous. I think it's a right click. And that drops some of it down there. There we go, turn into a sheep. Here's the thing. If I go in that stuff, I also transform. So I can't fight now. <laughs> oh, what is this? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> well, let's save the death replay if we can. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with anything, just save his gif. It's doing it. Hopefully this won't crash the game. If it does, I'll just reload and we'll keep going. Uh, but if I can, I will share these gifts with you, my friends. Oh, that was such a shame. Alright, this time I'm gonna be less cautious and see if I can just quickly get down to the bottom. And just show you what happens between levels. Oh, this is a bit slow. Alright, I'm gonna let this go and then I'll, I'll meet you guys when it's done. Alright, that's saved. Uh, return to game. Here's my stats. Cause of death polymorphed to... Suhiseva Lamas and Explosion. <laughs> yep. Alright, um, so. Let's go. New game. We'll try one more run. One more run. And it's frozen. Be right back with you, folks. 
And we're back. Okay, actually it didn't crash, it just thought that it did. It seems like we have a day-night cycle up here in the surface. This is interesting. Alright, so, got a brand new map. Brand new run. Let's see, I've got a cart instead of a minecart this time, that's fine. I'm just gonna rush past that. Let's see if we get a little bit more lucky this time. Let's see... If we can find something more useful. Maybe get... Oh, dead end. I mean, I could just try to kinda... <laughs> oh, that's gonna explode. That's not gonna be good. I need to be over here. That's gonna hit that and that's gonna explode. Let's just watch it unfold, shall we? Come on. So close, it's so close. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Here we go, here we go. And kaboom. Any second now. Wow, this is surprisingly fire resistant for an explosive box. There we go. It kaboomed. I think you always get one of those potions over here. This first little area I think is always the same. Oh, I could be wrong. Maybe I am wrong. There we go, I dodged it. I actually dodged for, for a change. Not very good at maneuvering. This is this this type of game is is not in my wheelhouse, my friends. I think you all know that, those of you who who watch my channel. Okay, there's something over here. Something glimmering and glittering. Beautiful. It is a potion. Teleportatium flask. I've heard uh, bad things about that. I'm not gonna mess with that. Oh, you're not dead. He's not quite dead. Okay, now you are. I've already lost health. There we go, that, that'll that be a wand. I think. Yes. Uh, what does this one cast? It casts the same thing that I already have. Speed 800, cast delay plus 0.5. Minus one degree spread, 5% crit chance. I think this is identical. This appears to be identical. I guess pick it up, but it's not gonna do me any good. Whoop. <laughs> Dodge the dynamite. Yeah, it looks like it looks like exactly the same. Well, that's not gonna help, is it? Something's blowing up down here now. It's not the best. Maybe we can add to it. Oh, there's fire. There's a lot of fire there. So what I'm trying to do now is I am. Whoa! What is that thing? Please continue to be on fire and burn and die, friend. Please. It's my request. Or is this like a fire demon thing? Hello, if it is, let's try this. Oops, that didn't go as far as I'd hoped it would. So if that was if that was like a demon made out of fire, yes, then uh, being having water on it would kill it. And I think that is what happened, although we didn't get to see it. Well, maybe you folks did. I didn't see it. There we go. I am trying to head downwards. Quick as you like. Ah! I have terrible aim. There we go. Um, I need this to blow up. Can I get this guy to throw an explosive at me? Here. Throw me some TNT, friend. Thank you. <laughs> oh, one, one more if you would. Maybe blow yourself up? Oh, oh, oh no, I'm on fire. Oh dear, I'm on fire. Not good, not good. Put out the fire, put out the fire. Is there any water around here? There is not. I am boing- Oh no! Okay, I'm not on fire anymore. Oh, but I am down on very low health. Goodness gracious, look at this disaster over here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'll take that. I can take that without hurting myself, and I think it did. Alright, now can I shoot my way through here? Very slowly. <laughs> I think it is possible, but this will this will burn away, and then we can go through. Okay, here we go. This is a very cool game, folks. Even though, again, it is super not in my wheelhouse, uh, it is still a very good, very well made, very cool concept for a game. It all works pretty well. Um, it does get just obscenely difficult, though. Oh, and this—I think this is yes. This is the end of the level. Made it to the end of the first level. Awesome. So this is what happens. I am now on fire. So I'm gonna very quickly... 
There we go. You get you get your health and all of your ammo restored. And you come over here to the shop. Now, I am poor because I didn't kill very many guys, so I can't buy any of this stuff. But these are other wands that you can buy. And, um... I think you're supposed to be able to... Yeah, you can... Somehow you're supposed to be able to, to customize your wands, but I honestly, I don't really understand how it works. At all. Fire immunity. Extra maximum HP from hearts. Exploding corpses. Let's close the inventory. Fire immunity sounds good. Picked up fire immunity. See, every time you get a, um... Take no damage from fire. Every time you reach the end of a level, you get, uh... Just edit wands. I don't understand how editing wands works. I think maybe you can you can move the spells around, but I don't really see any use in that. I guess if there's okay, this is a better aim. So yeah, you have to. I think you have to really learn how all this stuff works. But I'm there's no way when you leave this happens. There's no way that I'm gonna get that detailed right now. I'm probably not gonna last very long in this next one. I did not pick up very much in the last level. So, now I'm in the coal pits. Let's see how long I can survive the coal pits. <laughs> Taking all bets. Uh, odds are, not very long. So, we'll see. We'll see what I manage here. Somebody glowy over here. Whoa! That was fire, I think. <laughs> yep. Killing that guy. Set the world on fire. I don't want to set the world on fire. So I think this enemy's blood is basically magma. So let's test this out. If I'm on fire, do I not take damage from- Okay, looks like I do take damage from magma. That's good to know. What about if I just catch on fire? Ooh, money. Ooh, I just had oil on me. If you get, uh... Coated in oil, by the way. You catch fire more easily. And, uh, you slip around on the level. So you don't want to get oil all over your clothes, generally speaking. How are we doing? How are we doing? What we got over here? Ooh. We got another wand, I think. There we go. What do we got? This one has got a magic bolt, which does a lot of damage. Take that. Ooh! Oh, I like this! It does have a recharge time. Now, what am I taking damage from? I'm not supposed to take damage from fire. Oh, I'm poisoned! Oh, I'm poisoned! I need water. I need to find water to wash the poison off. I don't see any water! There was some water somewhere. I definitely saw some water somewhere. Let's go further down. Can we find some water? Oh no. Oh no! It's just poison everywhere! Oh no! I don't think I'm gonna last very long here, friends. Yeah, I am, uh... Oh, I've got toxic sludge. Oh, here's water. Okay. Well, that's all washed off, but I'm almost dead already. Uh-oh. Oh, man! Ugh. Okay. Well, I feel a little bit better about that death. <laughs> um, let's click for stats. So... I did better than I have before. I will try again to save the death replay. Maybe if I if I just make it a little one. It's a little one. Be about that size. Save. And I'll let that go. And done. All right, friends. That's Noita. So that's Noita. Um, it is a very cool game. It is very difficult. But it is in early access now, so they're probably going to be tweaking the difficulty as they go. Um, but it's, it's a very cool game. It's a very cool concept. It has been very well made. 
and I'm impressed by it. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link in the description, as I always do. And if not, if this is super not your cup of tea, my friends, you know. You know you don't need to worry, because I'll be back soon with another new indie game, and you never know. That one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thank you so much for watching, my friends, and I will see you next time. Hey there everyone, Ira here. I finally got a new webcam. Check out all my resolution. Yeah, you know, I couldn't have afforded this new webcam if it weren't for the help of these incredible people right here. These are my top patrons, and I love them all very much from the bottom of my heart. If you want to help me afford better upgrades and better equipment and other such things in the future, you can support me right now at patreon.com slash itsmeirelee and maybe even get your name up there. I love you guys.